Hello and welcome back guys to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the ruler tool in Tinkercad. Let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, this will be a bit of a short tutorial because there's not much to explain about it, but I'll show you how to use this effectively because it's a really useful tool. If you're someone like me and kind of forgets your measurements or wants everything to be symmetrical, this is the tool for you. Now, the, it's really simple. I'm just going to be going and showing you the parts of the tool. Um, so, first of all, you have your Y and X axis here. Um, you have this X here. It says dismiss ruler, which means obviously get rid of it. Uh, you have here, it, it says use midpoint, so you can click that and you can use your midpoint so you can like adjust all your different, uh, you can adjust all your different spaces on the ruler. Um, that's optional if you want to do that. Um, and then you have there, it says use endpoint, so it's basically uh, mark where you're marking along the side. So I'll go on a bit further detail um, into that if you want in another video. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to show you how you can simply use it. So say I have both of these two shapes here. I'm going to line them up here like this and you can see I have these weird other additions to my shape. Now this is basically what automatically comes on when you drag the ruler tool into onto the work plane. So I get rid of that and it's just normal but when you drag the ruler on and you can align up like that or however you want suddenly you have these these are quite useful because it tells you like how far it is from top to bottom and it gives you like a rough estimate and you can use them to measure like um, visually measure how long they are so say for example I wanted to have this shape on I want to I wanted to put it along the side of this and it had to be perfect and in the middle what i would do is i would move it here so it'd be uh flush on on the x and y axis and you you can see like that you have one two three four five six seven eight nine intervals and this here um this shape here is where it stands for four intervals so you can basically line it up on this middle one here so in there like that and you can you see you have the same amount of space on either side of the shape so you can measure that out and make sure um, that it's correct and you can use this to double check your measurements after you finish your um, your design so of course you can also use the align tool which is right here but if you wanted to just like finalize your measurements and make sure everything's perfect and symmetrical this is what the rule is for and as i mentioned uh I, I have mentioned this in another video so it's this video right here uh it like all the tools and stuff like that the rule is really handy i can't stop telling you enough on how useful it is if you are doing big projects on tinkercad just please use this ruler it will save your life and a lot of time so Without not mo without um, not much more to say, the ruler is located up here. It's also next to the work plan and your notes. Uh, if you'd like to, I can go into another video. Just suggest it in the comment section down below. Um, you just drag and drop. And if you wanted to, it's a bit smaller. You can drag it into into smaller spaces, and then it would align itself. Now there is actually no um, align alignment, like self alignment. You have to like. Uh, zoom down in and make sure it's all perfect up in your space so everyone that is basically the ruler it's pretty straightforward it's really useful uh, if you want to see a little bit more on the ruler i have another video right up here um, you can go watch it also covers the other tools in tinkercad if you want to learn a bit a little bit more about them and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.